Lesson 67, I want us to check USDCHF from a, um, a perspective of we want to find a very good opportunity. Anytime you want to analyze a pair, I really highly suggest you start from the monthly. Monthly will give you a bigger picture. It will tell you, it will show you so many things that once you stay on lower time frame, you can't see. So this is USDCHF. We have seen that it has been rejected so many times. This is Euros, USDCHF, not EUROCHF, USDCHF. So USDCHF has been rejected multiple times. So when the market rejects an area, it means that the market wants to finally buy. So from the perspective of monthly, from where I'm seated, like if I started, if I start to watch monthly time frame, I will see it has been rejected. Also, I cannot ignore that the monthly had that this double top. Can you see that double top? The monthly had that double top. This is my neckline. And this double top does not have RBS. So the fact that the double top does not have RBS, I'm not happy having uh, the mind of, oh, this market is gonna sell. For me, when I see a double top, the two things comes in my mind. Whenever I see a double top, let's say my first double top is this, the market can sell, break half, sell, break neckline, and does a complete double top. That is one. So when I when I have a when I have a double top, my mind is racing knowing that one I can have a complete double top. The other thing, if I have a double top, on the other hand, I I know already that this double top can reach half range, range, then breaks above and gives me a cup in handle. So with these two illustrations is to tell you. Anytime you spot a double top, it's not a must, it is sell. It can form a complete double top or it can do what? It can either form a complete double top or a inverted cup in handle. So at the end of the day, don't be so sure that once you find a, a trade, it is, it is an easy sell, no. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful whenever you have a double top. And I think that's what has happened. Having this double top, my mind is thinking, just because you don't have RBS, I said, and I keep saying, RBS is taught in my mentorship program. You can buy the course, you can come for physical class. If you want to know what RBS is, it is very helpful. It's a strategy that we incorporate in double tops and double bottoms to give us even more confirmation. So this double top, or you need to note that it can, give you a cup and handle it can give you a cup and handle or it can give you a complete double top complete double top is when it breaks half and continue so even monthly it has not told us because even it has not given us an entry to sell the double top has not given us yet an entry anytime you see a double top and it has not given you an entry chances are the market is still a buy are we agreeing if you find a double top like this and it has not given us an entry to enter, either we are waiting for WBB or for red candle, the chances are that market is more buying than selling because selling it has to give you an entry. So for us, we understand that USDCHF from the monthly perspective, it has not given us quite direction where it wants to go. I now I come to USDCHF on the weekly. I want you guys to note. This market has been buying for a very long time. This is so many, many months. So these are weeks. The market buys all these months and then comes and break that resistance. I hope you can see that breaking. Can you see it? The market comes and breaks that resistance. What do you think is happening? When the market breaks that resistance, it means that that market is going to do what? Is going to buy. But once the market starts to sell, we call this selling a retracement. The market will retest first before doing what? Before going up. So the market has an evidence of buying. Why? Because there was a resistance that was broken. That's another thing that is making us understand that still we can buy. 
we can buy. Now the question is, how do we look for buy entries? We go to the daily time frame. So once we go to the daily time frame, I want you to note that why did this market just all of a sudden stop here? What do you what can you understand this market stopping here? Guys, I have taught you here about one candle ranging. This was one candle ranging. This was a very, very good uh, market, good opportunity. Can you see this is a one candle ranging? This is one, two, three, and the fourth candle, the market broke out. So why do you think this market started to range around here? And on the daily, we do not have a double bottom. So that's a question we should ask ourselves. Another thing, why do you think the market has broken this resistance and still the market is going? What is happening? What is on this side? Because according to the daily, we can't see anything. There is no resistance here. There is no support. So what is making this market reach here? Reverses. And then comes to this area, breaks, and then continues going down. So when you go to four hour, you'll be answered. Those questions will be answered. So where we are seeing the market ranging and then breaking out, the market had activated a double bottom. You see? a double bottom. So this market has activated a double bottom on one time frame. Why am I saying a double bottom on one time frame? Let me show you, let me remove everything. So we have this area, that's the area we have. And then we have the bodies. You can see there was activation going on. So the market has activated this area as a double bottom. That's the area the market activated. We want to highlight this area so that when you go to the daily time frame, we might see what is happening. So we might have a clue on what is happening. So we have that double bottom. Why is our neckline? This is our neckline. So can we measure half? Of course. Let's try to measure half. Note, anytime I do analysis, you need to be doing analysis together. If you have a laptop, you should be analyzing. We should be analyzing together. Can you see? So that should be our half. What is an indication that we are getting is that half was broken. Can you see half was broken? So I want us to see that this double bottom, if it is on the daily. Are you seeing like it is on the daily? It is not on the daily. It was not on the daily. That's how the daily chart looks like. It is not on the weekly. That's how the chart on the weekly looks like. So anytime you see the market reacting at an zone and you can see support, just flip to lower time frame to see what really happened. Did the market activate a double bottom so that it's going up? So this double bottom is very, very important. When the market broke half, guess what happened? Again, they activated a double top. Can you see? They activated a double top. Note, this double top, it's not on the daily. It's not on the daily. This double top is not on the daily. Let's flip on the daily. I want to show you that double top is not on the daily time frame. It's not on the daily time frame. So what we need to understand is that where, which is our pattern one? This is our pattern one. The double bottom is our pattern one. This is our P1. And then it has created another P2. Guys, I told you P2, it's not a pattern to trade and joke with. So P2 it has uh, activated. So as we are speaking, the market has suggested from the double bottom, they have broken half. And from the double top, we have broken half. So it's like a tongue twister. So it has broken half. You can see very clear. So the, the double top, let me put that half blue so that it can be different. The double bottom broke half, activated the double top. And the double top broke half. Has it activated a double bottom? Can you see how patterns behave? So it has a created a new double 
bottom, which is our pattern three. Guys, what did I say about pattern three? Pattern three, most higher chances, it's the pattern that you should be trading, higher chances. So it has given us a, a, a double bottom, a possible double bottom. So we have a possible double bottom. Where is our neckline? This is our neckline of that possible double bottom. Where is our half? We want to measure our half. Let's measure our half kindly. You see, we have measured our half. That's our half, guys. A half can be that blue. So basically what we mean is that, and you can see this half has, the market has RBS. So it's an added advantage for us traders. So the market has a double top pattern one. And mind you, this double top is not on the daily. So it's very, very powerful. Then it activates, a dub, it has a double bottom pattern one, sorry and the double bottom is not on the daily. Then from the double bottom, they break half of the double bottom. They activate a double top that is still or not on the daily. Then they come and break the half of the double top and then activate a new pattern. So we need to understand, is this new pattern, the double bottom, is it on the daily? Guys, what do you think? Is it on the daily? No. And the fact that the, on the daily time frame the market has even declared that it's a buy, this double bottom being pattern three, it is gonna, it gonna work. So what do we need here? What do we need here? Now, the same thing I'm telling you, we need to use which strategy? We need to use CRB strategy. CRB strategy basically means current resistance break. And we can be waiting for current resistance break and the market do what? And the market activate this new, double bottom. So you don't need to be blinded with one double bottom. As long as the CRB has not happened, any double bottom can be activated. So I'm, I'm keen enough to check on this double bottom because the market can come from where it is and drop down 53 pips. So if we go to the daily, our new double bottom still is not there. Can you see our new double bottom is still not there. So for me, what I believe is that on USDCHF, we have two chances of making everything right. We have the first double bottom and the second double bottom. So you have to pay attention. You have to pay close attention to what this market is doing. USDCHF is one of the best pairs that you can trade, you can analyze, and you can make money. Once we get the current resistance, we shall make money. Or once half is broken, either way. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have added USDCHF in your watch list. And these are pairs, GBP, CAD, and, and USDCHF are the pairs that we shall be trading in this month of November. Thank you and God bless. Love you.